So, um, I don't know if you saw this, but the Jake Paul Mike Tyson fight has been postponed. A A R P because because Mike Tyson on a flight, I believe it was to Miami. Why is he flying? To, why is he flying to Miami? Um, when he's supposed to be training. What? Why not fly to Miami? Well, he's supposed to be training for a fight, you know. Uh, and I know he's not training in Miami. Why not? Um, I, oh, yeah. Good luck there. Uh, the heat, you know, run around in the heat. Yeah. Well, he he apparently had an ulcer flare up. So they have now rescheduled the fight to a date to be determined. Logan Paul does his trolling job and says, well, you ready to fight, Jake? So now there's different types of speculation and uh, conspiracies. I, I saw the most recent conspiracy by Brendan Schaub um, on his podcast. They were really gonna said, fight. Hmm? That they really were never going to fight? That, they, that, that the whole thing could potentially have been a scam. Now, I don't know if it was, but the scam is this. Mike, because remember, Jake Paul and Mike Tyson are friendly. They were buddy, like kind of buddies. Um, and he says, you don't have to do anything. All you got to do is make some training videos of you throwing mitts in fast forward. Because we know none of that stuff was in real time. It was, in, it was doctored in, in, in speed motion because he wasn't. And it was all chopped up together to make it like, pop, 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 pop. And then another chop. Like, okay, because after those four punches, he was like, <laughs> yeah. And then you get, I'll give you $10 million just to do that. You help me get on Netflix because I can't do it by myself. And then a month before the fight or a month and a half before the fight, you drop out. You get an ulcer. And I'll give you $20 million. And my brother comes in and we're going to fight each other in a Paul versus Paul matchup. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous. It's smart. But it, it, would it would it actually shock you? No. <laughs> because at the end of the day, they're smart because they, they knew that Mike Tyson they will get everybody going. No how no matter how old he is, people still believe he's Iron Mike. Like Yeah, why well, I don't know, but okay, he's yeah. He's gonna go out there, he's gonna dominate, he's gonna fight him. Yeah, the, the geriatric guy's gonna knock out the twenty-seven year old. Two years old. <laughs> Boy, guys, age. I don't care what you say. At some point, age. You know why? You know when you get up older, and, you know your thing doesn't get up like it used to. You know why? Because age matters. No, it's for the guys who always say, "I'm I'm in the best shape of my life," but you can't get a fucking boner. Yeah, I'm in the best shape of my life. No, I I would never be in a better shape than I was. When I was Yesterday, 24, 25. You yeah. know what? Actually, you know what? When I was 30, I was actually in the best shape of my well, life. Well, 30 is prime. Yeah, 30, 31. I was 30 is your athletic, as adult athletic prime. Should yeah. be at least. But 60? AARP. So I was cut it out. So I won't be surprised if that was a setup. Like when I heard about it, I said, huh, they used Mike Tyson name, which is still a galvanizing name because he's Mike. He's Iron Mike might not be iron anymore. I wouldn't want to take a punch from him still, but I believe I could run around in circles enough till he gets tired because he's old, and then I'll just <laughs> kick him in the knees one time because he's old. Shit, you're an old guy. Eventually, my youth is going to outlast you. I don't care who you are for the most part. And I don't, you know, so I think they use Mike name, and they played us. They're like, okay, we got Netflix, Netflix. Come on now, that's big, man. Kevin Hart's on Netflix because they're gonna because Jake Paul's gonna fight somebody. Yeah, he's gonna fight somebody. Yeah. I don't know who it will be. He's going to fight someone on that date on Netflix. He's not gonna sit around and wait. It might take Mike Tyson six months to fight if it's even gonna happen. So it's, I, I mean, he's gonna fight somebody. You know, I, I just thought that was a really funny thing that Brendan Shaw brought, Shaw brought up because I was like, you know. As stupid as it sounds, it actually could just be true. They played us, bro. They played us. Bro. They played us, yo. You know, I mean, and I, don't, I mean, oh, I forgot. This is in addition to combat corner, so I'm a little bit late saying that. Since we're talking about a fight, 
And might as well bring up the other fight that happened this weekend. Oh, Wilder? Not, not, the, U, not the UFC fight, because I talked about that earlier this weekend. Wilder? Weekend. Oh, oh not, not even Connor. I mean, the okay, we can talk about Connor first. No, Connor, McGregor, Connor McGregor might not fight now. He may have had an injury that's speculated. He's, they canceled the press conference in Dublin, and now Michael Chandler has left training camp in, Coconut, in um, Deerfield Beach and gone back home to Tennessee, I think he lives in. And... Uh, you got the cryptic tweets going on around. And the reality was Conor McGregor's been on video partying it up like he's a 22-year-old alcoholic, um, in, you know, getting out of college or in college and drinking every damn night and acting a fool. And you're sitting here supposed to be training for a fight that's supposed to take place in 23 days. Um, and now it's rumored that it's potentially off. Usually when the UFC – is really quiet about something it's bad because i've listened to so many mma shows and pro fighters who say usually when they talk to me i mean if the ufc talks about it it's okay but the longer they stay silent it's like they're trying to figure out something because you know i don't know if you know this but what happens when they have a, a a main event for the ufc the card is sold out already it's the largest gate in, a, in an arena in UFC history because they keep bumping the prices up and it's Conor McGregor. So you could put Tweedledee and Tweedledum. You and I could be on the fight card in the main card and the thing would sell out because of Conor McGregor. Yeah. And people just love Conor so much. Now, if Conor drops, who in the world would Mike Chandler fight? He's not going to fight anybody. He's been sitting for two years waiting to fight this dude. You know? If he drops, they have to refund people's money because they have to have the main event, at least one guy in the main event, be on that main event yeah. that they promoted. Yeah. If they both fall off, those thousands of dollars of tickets, like $1,000, $2,000 of tickets, these people can start actually asking for refunds by rule. So I don't know what's gonna happen with this fight, but I still want to see it. Yeah. It's a it's a meaningless fight, but I like fights, so I still want to see it. But this is a bad situation because this is International Fight Week, and that's a big event for the UFC. You think that? I mean, I don't know what your thoughts are on uh, Connor. And I mean, Connor's still a draw, man. But damn, oh, man, yeah. Connor's been done for the last five, seven, eight. He hasn't been Connor. How long has it been? Five, six, seven years? It's been a while. He hasn't been Connor for seven years. Mm. You know, and he doesn't have to be Connor anymore. So I don't even know why this was like, why is he was still getting the flame? Why is still getting, why is he still burning? Why is it still burning? Like, it's over. Like, that's been Connor. But we still, us as, as, you know, Americans, people that come to sports, we still hold on to this, this, passion of, of the person that we once saw that it could still be that person, even though it's over. Like, Michael Jordan with the Wizards, he was never going to be Michael Jordan again. <laughs> he was never going to be that guy. The Wayne Wade with the Miami Heat was never going to be the Wayne Wade the second go around. was never going to be the first he Wade again. Uh, those days are over. Mike Tyson at 60 is never going to be Mike Tyson at 25. Nope. So we still hold on to these, even though they show us countless times that it's over. Deontay Wilder, he showed us that it's over. That was the one I was going to discuss with you next, was the Deontay Wilder. He showed us that it's over, but we, as sports enthusiasts or people who really was drawn to the person that we grew up in, we loved, and they gave us memorable moments after memorable moments, we like, damn it, they can still do it. I don't care what's going on with their life. I don't care if he's not working out as hard as he used to or he's partying all, or he's 60, or he's 55, or he has a broken ankle, or he just came back from Achilles surgery. He's that same. No, it's over. It's, it's, guys, it's over. Let it go. Did you see the highlights of, or the, the, the lowlights for Deontay Wilder this weekend against the I feel sorry. large, large Chinese dude? Uh, I don't remember his name. But Sorry at first, but then I realized, no, I realized Deontay had a great career. Like, he came out of nowhere. He did what he did. He became a champion, defended his belt. He made millions of dollars. He got to the main stage. He was a, 
a, a, a count away from from being really on top of the world because when he knocked out uh, Fury in round Fury, twelve of the first Fury fight, out and Fury bounced back up like Undertaker uh, at the last second, even though it felt like a slow count. Like he was this close from being like in this range of a you know as a top boxer of all time, and now it's just like your time has passed you by. I think he turned thirty eight now. 38 years old. He don't look 38, but he's 38 years old. Damn good. He comes out there, he gives you the perception that I'm going to be this guy that I used to be. I have this killer right hand that, that has fucking metal in it. And when I hit you with it, you're going down. And he can't do it anymore. It's just like, I don't even know. We didn't even know who, I didn't, I didn't even know who had a fight. I forgot that I forgot the fight was this weekend. I mean, I had other, I had other things, I had other things going on. Okay, yeah, like having, like having a baby. I did, I did watch. I confession, I did watch the UFC fight in my hospital. I didn't know until I looked on Facebook and I see the guy that I didn't know. I didn't know what time it was at. That was the thing. I forgot what it was on the zone. I think it was in Saudi. So it probably was at four o'clock in the afternoon when I was in a C-section emergency room. So I couldn't watch it. But when I flipped on my computer, when I got back on, you know, went back in the room or whatever, I'm like, oh, shit. Like, yeah. I thought he'd lose. I thought he'd lose, you know, because I thought he, I thought the Parker fight just showed that he's washed. Yeah. And that man who, he, who, who hit him dropped Parker multiple times in their he's fight. He's older than Wilder. Oh, no, he's an old man. He's like over 40. He's like 40 years old, but he is like oh, yeah. 280 pounds, 290. And you know what's sad is that Every time Wilder has lost a fight, That's he makes cool. excuses. <laughs> he, he, like you got you got clipped. You then did a, a pirouette spinning around, and the man came after you and clipped you right on the jaw. And people are, this is what idiots Don't in Facebook. Face. Oh, it's illegal what he did. Illegal? No, it's not. <laughs> he hit him in the face. <laughs> he didn't hit him on the back of the head. He, he hit him square on his <laughs> jaw. He spun him around. <laughs> Had him dizzy, and then cr- now I couldn't believe Wilder got up at the eight count or nine yeah. count. That was amazing, but he couldn't stand really, <laughs> you know. Yeah. And, and he would have been probably potentially badly injured if he had, you know, bit, been allowed to continue. But it's just like I, I why? And then he says the man bit me on the ear. Like, oh my god, it's always <laughs> something with this guy. He bit you with his fist. Like, there's always, like, Wilder just can't take the L and move on. It's always, there's some reason. Bro, you're 38. That's the reason. You were never a great boxer. You were a puncher. Yes. You could hit hard. You could drop people. You could lose a fight for seven rounds like he did versus Luis, uh, the Cuban fighter that he fought, Luis, Luis, I forget his last name. Um. No, this guy was a, a Cuban a Cuban the boxer. Huh? The chubby guy, right? Yeah, the chubby Cuban boxer who was beating him for five rounds, six rounds, and then Guadalajara catches him with a right and drops him and ends the fight. Like, he was getting dominated. That was the fight before he fought Fury. You know, so it's like there have been uh, her holes in his game forever. Sure. Hidden by the fact that he can not hit you and put you to sleep. You know, and that just doesn't exist anymore because he doesn't have the same speed in his punch. Wow. You know. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.